Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here and in today's video I'll be talking about what a Ravens star player said about Sam Howell and what some other teammates of Sam Howell have said about him. So if you guys are new, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you guys are new and turn on that notification bell as well. Check out BetUS and the Discord as well. We'll also talk about some moves the commanders made today. And sorry for the messy background a little bit. Moved in yesterday to the new apartment. So still, you know, figuring things out, figuring out the setup, but Appreciate your guys' patience. So let's get into it. So Ron Rivera named Sam Howell the commander starting quarterback for you know for week one versus the Arizona Cardinals this past week. You know, basically, you know, I thought it could have been done a little bit earlier. We basically knew since you know the end of the season after that Cowboys game that Sam Howell is gonna be the starter this year, unless something crazy happened, like they traded for a veteran like Lamar, or they traded up in the draft for a quarterback like some of the top guys, but you know, like Bryce Young or CJ Stroud, Anthony Richardson, which it was not going to happen. So we knew it was going to be Hal, and he did nothing to lose his job. If anything, he, you know, showed a lot in these training camp sessions in the offseason before that, mini camp OTAs and the joint practice as well. And, you know, yeah, basically training camp's over right now. I mean, they're going to still have practices, but like training camp, training camp is basically over. I mean, they'll have a few more, you know, technically training camp sessions, but fans won't be there and it'll just basically be a normal practice. But they've got no more practices before the Ravens game. They'll probably have a few before the Bengals game and then they make the roster. So that that's gonna be a crazy time period there. But yeah, I just, you know, a few different players have talked about, you know, Sam Howell, including a Ravens star corner and then a couple of commanders, key players as well. So I want to talk about that and talk about Sam Howell. So first guy Marlon Humphrey talked about how, you know, I don't know if he was asked this or if he brought it up, you know, yeah, if he just brought it up, but he said, Sam Howell looks really comfortable in the commander's offense. And for a guy like Marlon Humphrey, who's an all pro corner to say that that's like high, that's pretty high praise. And he said some other positive things about Sam Howell as well. And I don't know if any other Ravens players said anything. If they did, let me know uh, below in the comments section. But when that, you know, when I heard that, I was like, okay, that, that's some, that's some high praise. Like, it's not like he's saying he's a star, but saying he looks comfortable in the commander's offense, like, he, you know, he's giving him a little bit of respect, and I think that is, you know, really good for sure, and, you know, good praise for Sam Howell, and showing that, you know, he was doing, he was holding his own in the joint practice with the Ravens, especially on day one, you know, the offense, I thought, you know, they beat the Ravens defense, you know, their first string defense, that from what I saw and read, that's what, you know, one of the takeaways was and then on the second day the commander's defense played really well but, but yeah i mean this is a little off topic but i thought the commanders as a whole held their own against the ravens and might have even won the joint practice who knows though uh doesn't really matter a ton because it just matters once the season starts i don't even care if they beat the ravens in the preseason if they do hey that's great that the streak is over but if not it doesn't really matter so some other guys have said some things about uh, you know, Sam Howell, he said, this is Kendall Fuller. He said, I'll just read it. I remember the other day, actually, let me take that out because it'll be blocking him. But he says, I remember the other day he made an out route on me, which, you know, that pissed me off. But just to see him able to put those throws in spots where DBs can't get it. I think the good NFL quarterbacks, that's what separates a lot of them from college or a lot of times college from the NFL quarterbacks who can put the ball to our defensive back, no matter how good the coverage is you just can't get to it. So to see him just have the confidence to m make those types of throws, throw them in things like that, it's been good to see. So I really like that answer to, you know, talk about, you know, you get the court, the difference between the college, you know, college and NFL is the NFL quarterbacks that are able to get it in the spot where only the receiver can get it. And apparently, you know, Sam Howell's been doing that. And that's some good praise from Kendall Fuller, who is going up against Sam Howell every single day. I mean, the corners, I feel like, know most about Sam Howell than anyone because, you know, they're watching every single throw. Like, D-line isn't. I mean, they might be watching Sam Howell, but they're they're watching maybe the release, if that. But then once, it's, you know, sometimes they can't turn around and look at the throw. So, you know, I think that this is really good praise from, you know, Kendall Fuller. I don't have the quote up here, but Jeremy Reeves, on the John Kine podcast talked about how he said he looks good and stuff. He gave the, ob you know, the basic obvious answers that every defender is going to give about, you know, how he's looked good. But one thing that I thought was really good insight, he said, Sam Howell has gotten a lot of different looks from the defense. The defense 
has been given, a, you know, doing a bunch of different coverages, you know, trying to confuse the opposing offense, you know, that's what they're going to try to do in the regular season. But, you know, in practice, you're going up against your own team. So kind of confusing the opposing offense. And I think that's a really good test for how, first off, he's going up against a really good defense. So if he's looking okay against the commander's defense, when he's going up against these other, you know, defenses like the Cardinals and, you know, some other defenses that aren't as great, like maybe the Falcons and other teams it's going to be way way easier for him to maybe not dominate but just play better and then also them showing complicated coverages and stuff and you know looks in practice i think is also really good for his development as well and we'll just make it so okay once he gets on the you know field regular season he's basically seen everything he's basically seen all these different looks so i think that is also really cool as well that the deep i mean not cool i mean they're not doing it for Sam Howell. I mean, maybe they are, but I don't think they're. I don't think they are. They're just doing it because that's what they're going to try to do this season. But I think it's really good for Sam Howell to go up against this defense and also all those different looks that they've been giving. Here is an answer from Terry McLaurin about Sam Howell. Let's see. I'll go ahead and play it for you guys. There we go. All right, so there you guys saw what Terry had to say for Sam as well. Always, you know, Terry always gives great answers. And shout out to Terry. I mean, just in general, great player, great leader, great person. I mean, man, he has to sign so many autographs at training camp. And I mean, he can't sign everyone's, but he always, you know, every single time I've been there, he's signed, you know, at least a little bit. So shout out to Terry McLaurin and, you know, giving some praise to his quarterback. And, you know, he's also like on the field, like I think, can't remember what it was. It was the Ravens joint practice, and Hal threw. A, I think it was to Terry, and then, uh, he, you know, Terry was a little loud, like he was chirping, like he was like, you know, happy and like hype for Hal that he, you know, he's giving him a good pass, you know, because he Terry's not necessarily used to that. Terry's not used to getting those great passes and throws from quarterbacks, or you know, he's used to going up and making the play himself. Because one thing I said was when it was the last game of the season. And Terry got a perfect pass from Hal. It was a slant. I think it was a slant or it's a short route. And Hal led him. And it was, you know, he's going to be in stride. And then Terry drops. And I was like, well, Terry's not, I mean, I was joking. He obviously shouldn't have made the catch. But I was like, Terry's not used to guys throwing in front of him. So uh, I think that could lead for some, you know, yak ability this year for Terry and some yak yards. So, yeah. So let's get into real quick some moves that the commanders have made today. And a huge shout out to BetUS for sponsoring this video. BetUS is the leading online sports betting company. They've been around since 1994, so they're reliable, they're secure, and they've got a great customer service. You can bet on every single sport, you know, college football, NFL, basketball, college basketball, soccer, baseball, hockey, any sport you name, they've got it. And they've got a great deal right now that if you use my link in the description, you get a 125% first time deposit match. So if you put in 100, you'll get $225 back. You know, college football is about to start, NFL is starting soon. So there's a you know ton of different opportunities. They've got live bets, parlays, futures. So, so many different sports to bet on and so many different bets that you can make so go ahead use that link in the description and as usual bet responsibly thank you bet us for sponsoring this video all right so the commanders made a couple moves nothing major but some you know kind of you know small moves i guess you know the biggest one i would say was the commanders released michael badgley so joey sly officially has won the kicking battle and i think that's you know deserved he did well in the preseason and that you know heard he did well in camp when I wasn't there and when I was there he made you know he made all his kicks and Michael Badgley looked good too but you know Joey Sly did nothing to lose that battle and I think it's a good push for him just to, for him to know okay you can't slack off and he probably isn't thinking that anyways but just to know there's always a little bit of pressure on him and that if he 
isn't looking good. Maybe midseason they move on from him. They also released wide receiver Jalen Sample, undrafted guy. Don't know how to wear. He made a couple big plays, or, you know, kind of big plays in training camp at times. But we knew a lot of these undraft free agents, you know, Jalen Sample, Bryson Tremaine. I think there's like one other guy that, you know, that they're just not making it. And then, and, you know, Kyrie McCowan, second year receiver out of Georgia State, undrafted, you know, undraft free agent. And then, you know, the guys that have a chance, Mitchell Tinsley, and then, um, you know, Kazimir Allen, obviously. Besides that, it's going to be, and even for them, only one of them, if one of them makes it, it'll be one of those two. But who knows? You know, we already know the top five, I think, which is Terry, Jahan, Curtis, Diami, and Byron Pringle. The six could be, you know, Dax Mill, Kazimir Allen, could be Marcus Kemp, could be Mitchell Tinsley, one of those four. Maybe they keep seven. I don't know. They also signed defensive tackle Isaiah Mack and punter Michael uh, Paladry. So punter, signed a punter because Tressway still, there's not having him punt, but in practice I saw him punting. So I think I should give him a little bit of rest, give some other guys a look, you know, for other teams, I guess. And he's wearing double zero, which is interesting. And then D tackle, guess just getting another body out there because Fedarian is, Fedarian is out, I guess. I don't know how long. And then Jonathan Allen is dealing with, what is it called? Planter? I, I'm mispronouncing it, but it's like a, I think it's like a shin or heel thing, which is like it lingers. So that is, I mean, I'm a little concerned about that, honestly, because uh, it's not like some of these injuries, like a sprained ankle, which, you know, if it's minor, it, it's done, you know, a week or so, but, you know, that could last weeks, months. So, you know, he can he'll play through it, but it could affect him. So I'm hoping he's, you know, good to go. And, he, you know, it's nothing minor, but um, it is what it is. All right. So I think that's it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Check out the Discord. It's right here. Starting in September, we'll be doing a pretty big giveaway. Maybe, you know, definitely a jersey, maybe two, and then a um, maybe some tickets. We will see. Go ahead and join it. Link will be in the description. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace.